Whew, good morning, everybody. Um, I bet my hair looks crazy. Uh -huh. It rained all night last night, so I was up for a little bit. It is still a gorgeous day out. Damn and Rammer getting up right now. Me and Jason are just about to get the fire going. <sighs> then I think later on we're going to do some fishing and definitely doing some foraging. So oh, We're going to get some breakfast. Stay tuned. Right. Oh, breakfast just got over. <laughs> We're about to head back over to some of those deeper lakes, try to get some more trout. I'm thinking I'm having a good feeling today. I don't know if it's going to be me. I don't think it's actually going to be me, but I think one of us is going to get an MA fish. I don't know why I just don't think it's going to be me, but you know, I have a feeling that somebody's going to get it. Somebody's going to get that MA. <laughs> so we'll see what happens, but yeah, we're going to head back there right now. Brimley's over there eating bug spray. We're bringing, um, good. We're bringing that classic, you know, that classic honey, honey wheat with that goober grape. You know, we're bringing that for lunch so we don't have to leave and come back. Hit that up, hit a couple of lakes on the way back. Come back probably when the sun's getting close to setting and yeah. There we go. There we go, boys. Another gorgeous brook trout, guys. Look at that. Man, these teeth are vicious. And the pliers just got out. First cast, baby. Got a brook on. Let him tire out a little bit. Yeah, boy. Hell yes, I'm talking about, baby. Bring him on in. Got him, got him, got him, knew it. Yep, I got him. I got him, yep, got him. Rainbow, here's a rainbow. Well, I'm pretty sure you're gonna run away with this competition for first, Rem. You're at, you're at 13. I'm at six, Jason's at four. You're doubling, you're, me and Jason's score combined is you're still beating it. Look at that, beautiful. Love these fins, love the dots. Love that little orange accent on the fin up here. God, these things are gorgeous. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Yes. Guys, I think I got something on there. Ready? The super set coming up. <laughs> ah! Remy with the super set. Got him. <laughs> I was on 18 total fish this weekend. I think it's safe to say he's getting first. But, um, choked it. Choked it, dude. Killed it. But yeah, so it's me and Jason basically battling for not eating the worm. I mean, the minnow. I got a three fish lead on him right now. He's in the struggle bus zone. Trying to keep increasing that lead, just like we're, just like you would in any sport. You got to keep increasing that lead, make it safe. And the fishing talent that we got out here, I don't think that any lead is too safe. I mean, Jason going hot streak just like Remy here. Start slamming them or something, you never know. And I'm sure some of you right now are thinking in your heads, well, what's Rem using? Well, Rem's using worms. He's using night crawlers, but Rem hooks it up a special way, which we're not gonna reveal. But he, he hooks his worms up, and you're probably thinking, like, it can't be that special. But I've, personally, I've fished my whole life, and I've never seen anybody hook their worms up that way. Finally, hooked up with something. Oh, it's a nice one, too, beautiful. Oh, and he's off. Oh, God. Yep. Did 
He came back for it. Yep, two for two. Finally, I haven't done a two for two yet up here. God, just such pretty fish. Look at the tops of them. Got that camo tiger type stuff going. If you guys are a, bat, a shoe fan like, like I am, kind of reminds you of that elephant print on Jordan, you know, a little bit. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Finally, a good sized fish. Yeah. Look at that cut bow, guys. Nice size cut bow, though. You can tell right here, guys, because it's got that orange right there under its, under its neck. Looks like its throat's cut. Ooh, beautiful fish. Let's get the measuring tape here. 16 and a half inch cut bow, guys. Ooh, Remy, get the double up. Oh, yeah. Nice little. This little brookie. We got a lot of action over here right now. Oh, pretty colors. Ooh, lots of dots. Look at that. Gorgeous fish. Let's get him back in. There he goes. Ooh. I didn't think he was going to come back for it, dude. He dipped off to the depths and came right back for it. That was sweet. Good thing I am not in the competition. I would be eating a minnow. I don't want to be doing that. Um, oh, oh, there we go. Got one. Nice. And he's out. Got another one. Another nice brook. As soon as I said, am I on? He bit it. Another beautiful male brookie. Nice. All right, well, we just got done at the lake. All of us had a really good success. Let's, tell, let's count up the numbers. I got 14, Jay got 13, Sam got seven. seven. And then big rem dog over here. <laughs> 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. What the f <laughs> we caught 59 total. Who um, is this guy? Yeah, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Shut it spot. That honey hole. But yeah, now we're about to cook up the rest of those fillets that we got yesterday. Kind of just clear out all the food. We're going to eat like fat pigs, basically. And um, also with the dandelion greens. Also with the dandelion greens, oh, yeah. okay? We, you've seen uh, uh, throughout the video, we've been picking that up. Uh, well, throughout the day, I should say. We got some before we went fishing, got some after we went fishing. So yeah, we got some good shots of that too. We're gonna be eating that up. Good, healthy foraging food. We'll explain more of that too as we're cooking it. But yeah, stay tuned guys. We got a lot more fun for you. Me and Sam just doing a little carving into this tree. Might be wondering what we're doing. We're carving our initials. It's kind of the, 
tradition up here with couples or just people in general. They carve their names in these aspens up here. And I mean, we saw one that was from 64. Pretty cool. So me and Sam want to kind of put our legacy into here as well. Jay's down there right past us. He's doing the same thing. Can't be forgotten. And then, you know, it's going to be really cool when we get back up here one of these days. Maybe with some, maybe we bring our kids or something. And, you know, show them, like, you know, that's, where we, that's what we were doing 10, 20 years ago. 30. them regular, regularly, re, re, regular, regularly, we're gonna try them the regular way and then we're, uh, but Re Remy just had a, Remy just had this really great idea to put them on the uh, cheddar brats, are, yep. are they? Yeah. So we're gonna try those and, uh, and see how they are, take a look at these. Bam, yeah, let's try them out. What do you think guys? Yeah, yeah kind of tastes like, um, a little bit like with it, like with this application, it's kind of like adding like the cabbage to it or something. Yeah, you know, that, like, the flour. yeah it kind of has that sauerkraut texture with this, but <laughs> yeah, I was in one bite. Bam! Oh. Nice. All right, guys. So you just saw me and Remy eat that hot dog with the um, dandelion greens on it. We're gonna try to try it out solo, kind of see how that taste is by itself. Pretty good. Kind of tastes like greens. A um, little bitter, a little bitter bit of a taste to it, but not bad. Not bad at all. What do you think, Jay? Hmm. Pretty good. It does have like a little a bitter tartness, but it's not like overbearing or uncomfortable. I could see it being in like a good salad with other maybe uh, things from outdoors, but overall pretty good. We got to get it on the brat for him. <laughs> Let me see. It's juicy, lightweight, subtle, a little earthy, earthy. and has a little bit of earthy. a yeah, that's a good one. The tang, the tang, the like game like midway when you're chewing it. Besides that, I'd say it's like seven out of ten kind of taste yeah. wise. And Just shit. regular, but on that brat though, oh, that I'm gonna give it like an eight out of ten on the brat. Yeah, it almost tastes sure. like arugula. It, yeah, it does kind of taste almost like, like arugula. arugula. Like the bitterness is comparable to arugula. I yeah. bet if we. Uh, I bet if we cooked it up, maybe with some butter. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. or some bacon in there, like chopped up bacon. Garlic? Yeah. What do you think, babe? Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it does have that, that bitterness I, that you guys were talking about, but I definitely taste like um, like something in the, the back. Tang. Yeah, the tang back the tang, here. Yeah. It's really good though, I like it a lot. Yep, and you're about to have your brat, right? Yeah, I have it over there. I just got to put some greens so on it. So we're going to get her to those greens, those dandelion greens on that right now live for you. Well, not live, but <laughs> in real time on this video. And then we'll get the next taste test going right here. Let me camera shine now. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. So much better. That hot dog and that cheddar kind of like... It. Yeah, it like chills out that bitterness in it. You don't even taste the bitterness anymore. They're so good. So there's the verdict, everybody. Those dandelion greens were pretty good, and if you kind of complement them with they a with a with a brat mm -hmm. or um or a hot dog, some type of meat or something like that, <clears throat> it tastes delicious. So we were top thinking about you know maybe adding bacon to it. Um, Balsamic vinaigrette. Yeah, some vinaigrette. You know. Cheese cheese there's a lot of things that you can do that you can bring with you camping um that you could add to that that will make that really good jason, where you at? so jason right now if you guys don't remember we had a competition for fishing for qu for quantity 
And well, we don't have to worry about Rem eating the minnow, but it came down to me and Jason, and, and I beat Jason by one fish. Really close competition. Neck and neck the whole day. You know, the thing was, is I thought I had Jason beat there the first part of the day. He came back on a strong, hot streak. It can't ever keep it. Yeah, can't ever count Jason out when it comes to the fishing game. You guys already know about our bet. Unfortunately, I lost. TT Tyler, he beat me with one by one fish. So I got to eat the minnow, guys. So now's the time. So we're all packed up and ready to go. We did a lot of good fishing, uh, did some foraging, got some dandelion greens, but did a lot of fishing, got some brooks. Tyler caught a cut bow. I think that was the only other species of fish that we got this uh, weekend. But uh, yeah, it was a really great weekend. Had a blast and I'm sad to go, but I gotta get back to civilization. Hey guys, Remy from Team Cough here. Everybody's getting their stuff packed up, ready to go. It's been an amazing three days up here in the high country up in Grand Mesa. So, we got a bunch of fish. We got 59 in total. I won the, the challenge. We got some good foraging. We all picked up some greens and stuff. All in all, it was a great time and we'll definitely be back up here soon. So, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Whew. Get one last look at the water, guys. Oh. Just like any vacation, it sucks to leave. You guys heard the summary of everybody individually, and I'm pretty much on the same boat. So, great weekend. I mean, it's just like any vacation, kind of, or when you're camping, it's it's over way too soon. Um, you know, three days, three nights. Um, felt like one day, one night. You know, we had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, a lot of good fishing, a lot of foraging, a lot of good eats, and you can guarantee we're gonna be back up here again soon. Just make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and definitely hit that notification bell, okay? You don't want to miss out on the fun content that we're bringing up for you guys this summer. Oh, as always, guys, it's been a blast. Thanks for watching. Team Cough, signing out. Deuces.